What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, I want to talk about the DAO and why I think the DAO really needs to be a team player and take one for the team right now. So what I'm trying to get at is the whole getting DEC back to peg issue that we're running into. Now, we need sinks, we need uh, utility, we need all that stuff, we need new players, you name it, right? It's it's all over the place. But there's a ton of capital that is just sitting in the DAO right now that is not doing anything except losing value. So if you check this out here, we have sent... Uh, 15 million SPS to the DAO from node licenses and about 53 million SPS from Riftwatcher sales. So if we go over to the DAO, there is 69 million, 69 million SPS that is sitting in the DAO doing absolutely nothing. It's just, it's just there and it's just losing value as SPS continues to bleed out. Now, my idea, and I am open to criticism, I'm open to whatever, to, it's for you to poke holes into this is that I really think the DAO should take one for the team. I would I would want to put this up for a vote and I would very strongly, uh, I'm, I know I'm giving the idea, but I haven't like sold myself on it yet. But that being said, I would strongly consider voting for this, which is I think the DAO should sell some of that SPS, buy a crap ton of DEC off the market and just hold it. And right now, DEC is trading at a discount, right? We're point, uh, point 0.72 or like seven, 730 splintoshis roughly. We need to get that back up to peg. We need to get people to start burning more DEC. We need to get people to start burning SPS to give it value and utility. Now, one of the strongest arguments that I've seen put out uh, against putting DEC uh, into the DAO is that people don't want to have a token that doesn't have upside potential, right? So, uh, for example, with the Rift Watcher sale, uh, many people did not want to put uh, Rift Watchers in for DEC or to be sold in DEC. Uh, a lot of it was like you know, kind of crapping on the sellers or on the on the early buyers. But the other argument that I saw, which was intriguing at the very least, was this idea that we we wanted to have a token that has the potential to go up in value over time in the DAO. I think we can be more open and flexible to that than than we need to be, right? So the the way that I'm looking at it now is okay, well we we have 69 million SPS in the DAO that's just lost value, right? It was put in there when SPS was roughly like 9 cents, maybe a little bit more, and so like the the DAO itself has lost like 66% of its value and the SPS is just sitting there not doing anything. It's not providing liquidity, it's not staking, it's not earning any rewards, it's just sitting there. So I'm actually not as opposed to putting DEC into the DAO. Again, I don't think it should be all DEC, but I think it's worth considering putting some DEC uh, in there just so that there's a kind of diversified mix. Now, granted, SPS and DEC at this moment in time are still so correlated, but over time, the idea is that SPS, or I'm sorry, DEC stays at its, at its stable value while SPS, you know, does its thing with the flywheel and goes up and down, but hopefully more up than down, at least more up than down than it has been in 2022. So you got 69 million SPS in there. And uh, I just wanted to, let's let's pull the calendar out for a second. So, or not the calendar, the calculator. 69 million SPS times 0 0.027, shall we say? 0 0.0028, right? 2.8 cents. So there's $1.9 million just sitting in the Dow that's not doing anything. And I think that could really go towards helping the community because if you were to buy DEC with even just a small portion of that, you could move the market, lock up that DEC and truly, truly lock it up, right? Because right now, the people think that if, the, if we buy stuff, if we buy packs or whatever, it goes to the team. And sure, the team's not going to sell it, but they can, right? Or they can put it back out into the market for any credits uh, that, that come into the system, which is good still, right? We want, we want credits to come in because that means more money coming into the ecosystem. But ultimately, that's more money going into the Splinterlands revenue, right? Uh, and company operating expenses of which they pay out on the back end in DEC. You put it into the DAO and it actually gets locked up. It actually gets locked up until we, as SPS stakers and holders, decide what we want to do with it. So 
I would love to put it up for a vote to make this decision to buy some DEC. I know that's going to put sell pressure on SPS, but we all know this thing's going down anyway, right? So at least in the short run. So I don't mind tanking it now if we can get DEC back to peg and relatively stable. So we're looking at this. There's 69 million DEC. You're telling me that if we put like a couple hundred thousand dollars of volume towards uh, I'm sorry, $69 million or 69 million SPS, $1.9 million of worth of SPS. Um, if you're telling me that if we don't put, you know, a couple hundred thousand worth of volume towards DEC, that's not going to do anything to the price. Well, I'm glad you asked because I'd love to show you. Just take a look here on tribal decks. Oops, that's not what I meant to open. If we look at tribal decks, all right, you have, um, let's again, I'm not, I am not saying by any means to put everything into uh into um what's that called into dec i think it should still be mostly sps but let's say i don't know let's say we do 10 percent. right now there's 69 million sps so let's say we take 6.9 million sps and and literally just do a market buy for dec so six nine zero zero nine zero zero now check this out just by putting 10 percent in you're going to see that the price impact is 32 percent 32% to DEC, which is roughly at 720 splintoshis. So you increase that. That doesn't get us exactly to peg, but that does get us into the 900 splintoshi range. Again, I think I think we we could do more, right? Like I mean, let's just say we do 10 million out of this out of the almost 70 million. You do 10 million. Uh, there you go. One, 10 million. And uh, and now we're, we're we're jumping almost fifty percent. This is def this is over the the intended peg amount, right? If we're jumping up forty seven percent from where we're at right now, so this is what I'm trying to get at. There is capital sitting in the Dow that is not doing anything right now, and I think the Dow should really take one for the team, and and uh, take one for the community, help us out, and just lock that DEC up. And in the future, and I'm talking about like future future right because at this point in time i don't think anybody's talking about like hey what are we going to do with the the funds for the dow i think this is accumulation period for the dow where a lot of these products end up going into the dow i'm sorry a lot of these product sales uh the revenue from that something like a rift watchers or if they do like the fees and stuff in the future that goes to continue feeding the dow in the future but it doesn't it's not until we get to maybe 2026 uh or end of 2026 when the first rewards sps rewards will finally run out and that, that that's what i'm thinking uh, or what i'm thinking of like sps staking rewards right that'll be around the 65 month mark is the end of 2026 so there's some time and i i would like to believe that splinterlands and the and the economy can get itself into a better place by 2026 so you know i'm all in for it again it doesn't need to be 10 million it could be less it could be more whatever the case is but i, I say we sell some of the sps that's sitting in the dow buy some DEC, that still, that DEC at its lower, you know, at its lower rate still has the potential to go up in value, right? Slightly. So it's not like it's a complete, you know, it's a complete miss, but um, I, I, just, I just feel like there are definitely good opportunity, or this is definitely a good opportunity to help with the game economy. I it It's not, it doesn't seem like a nuclear option. The team doesn't need to do anything or add any additional resources or, or put out any cards or, or, you know, put out any kind of new products. We just need to vote on this. And then, you know, whoever is handling the DAO will go in and act on the community's behalf to make this happen. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to know where my thinking could potentially be wrong on this. But uh, I tried to show you as many numbers and data as I could. And I really think that with a minimal buy, minimal buy from the Dow, we could get the economy jump-started. Now, it doesn't solve the problem of burning DEC in the long run, but I do believe that land will be a big DEC sink, and I don't think that locking up DEC in the Dow until land comes out or even a year after land comes out is a bad idea. We can slowly, as a community, vote to put it out uh, and release it back into the ecosystem over time when the demand is there for it. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.